The General Principles In today's globalised economy, workers are increasingly looking for job opportunities beyond their home country in search of decent work and better livelihoods. In addition, millions of workers migrate internally in search of decent work. Public and private employment agencies, when appropriately regulated, play an important role in the efficient and equitable functioning of labour markets by matching available jobs with suitably qualified workers. However, concerns have been raised about the growing role of unscrupulous employment agencies, informal labour intermediaries and other operators acting outside the legal and regulatory framework that prey especially on low-skilled workers. Reported abuses involve one or more of the following. Deception about the nature and conditions of work, retention of passports, illegal wage deductions, debt bondage linked to repayment of recruitment fees, threats if workers want to leave their employers, coupled with fears of subsequent expulsion from a country. A combination of these abuses can amount to human trafficking and forced labour. Despite the existence of international labour standards relating to recruitment, national laws and their enforcement often fall short of protecting the rights of workers, and migrant workers in particular. To protect workers from abuse and exploitation, the ILO adopted the general principles and operational guidelines for fair recruitment in 2016. By pooling guidance from existing standards, the guidelines aim to inform the activities of the ILO and other organisations, national legislatures, enterprises, recruiters and social partners. The principles and guidelines cover the recruitment of all workers, nationals or migrants, internally and internationally, in all sectors. They apply to recruitment directly by employers as well as through intermediaries. While the general principles provide guidance at all levels and for all actors, the operational guidelines outline the responsibilities of specific actors in the recruitment process. All actors should work hand in hand to combat exploitation and ensure the fair recruitment of workers. The operational guidelines which follow the general principles stipulate the specific responsibilities of governments, enterprises and recruiters in the recruitment process. The social partners also have a crucial role to play. To learn more about the ILO general principles and operational guidelines for fair recruitment, keep watching our series of videos on establishing fair recruitment practices and visit our website www.ilo.org slash fair recruitment. <laughs>